So I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty recently. I've been playing a lot of League play and I'm trying to get better at it. It's just really hard to do when League play is just so broken. That looked like a pretty cool blueprint. So I think it was my second ladder I had in league play. There was just no ladder. So there was nothing to compete for with diamonds. Right there, I had already lost like all of my motivation to play the game. And obviously being a variety gamer, that's not like a huge deal. But at the time I was really into Call of Duty and I really wanted to be playing league play, seeing that it was like the first week that it was out. And so basically that just had me really upset. I mean, of course... It the the ranking system in this game is really weird so you've got these diamonds basically and those determine what numbers next to your name i guess and after that you have like you have the different divisions i think they're called and so basically the number next to your name just shows how much of a no life you are the diamonds are just so broken because it's how much time you have to play the game because eventually you're gonna get wins and obviously you gain more than lose i guess if you went on a winning streak that you could like maybe get ahead of the no lives but even then like it's just it's ridiculously insane how high some people get in points but yeah the ranking overall makes really no sense my friend barely played the game he like missed an entire ladder and then half and half of another ladder comes back plays a placement match and ends up placing in elite division while i'm over here an expert grinding the game doing better than him by the way so basically, it's just, it doesn't make sense in that aspect, and it doesn't make sense in the aspect of why I didn't have a ladder. Put all that other stuff aside, you can't even view what your teammates are going. So like, if you're playing something like Control and all the lives are down, you can't see who's taking your lives. I don't know if Call of Duty is getting like real soft with all this internet stuff that's been going on or something. I, I just, I don't know whose idea it was to say like, I don't know if they were like trying to end toxicity or something, or like at least lessen it, because I mean, Call of Duty's always been a toxic game. So like, wh why are- I don't understand what the point of it was. Whose idea was this? Oh, my house is burning down. Gotta go. No, but overall, I've just had a really poor experience with League play. And then the other thing that happens a lot is you get in like a lot of 3v4s. And there's no punishment for these people that are leaving the match. Other than, like, maybe a bigger loss in, uh, like, their ladder points. It just, it is, it's so overwhelming and just, I, it makes me so upset how broken it is and how little effort it feels like Treyarch has really put into this. We've seen ladder systems similar to this before and I think it was BO2, but you didn't have, like, the days thing. So you didn't have to actually wait to rank up. I, I think that just, that kills it all together. I think a better approach would definitely be MMR because we see that... We see MMR in almost every other ranked game. Like, Fortnite has arena points. That's kind of similar to MMR, I guess, in a way. You know, you look at something like Rainbow Six Siege, it's got MMR, Rocket League. I mean, everything has their skill-based matchmaking based off of MMR. And I mean, it works really good for those games. But yeah, I, I think MMR would definitely be the best approach for Treyarch to take here. I mean, the one that they have now really just isn't working. It's bugged. It doesn't even make sense to me. I mean, people are still trying to understand it completely. It's never going to make sense to anybody. As you can see here, even in this game is a great example. Like, I mean, you've got three elites on my team with an unranked. Like, he's the lowest rank. He doesn't even have, like, a color. You've got an unranked on the other team, along with no rank, no rank, and I believe that thing is advanced. So, yeah, I mean, I'm no game developer, but, like, Treyarch really needs to step it up. Right now, with everything going on, I just feel like League Play is definitely on a downhill. Another thing has been, like, with this map, I mean, you aren't, it's, this isn't a good example here, but, I'll, I mean, a lot of the control maps are just stupidly easy on defense. You'll have lobbies like this where you 3-0, and I mean, yeah, that happens, but, like, looking at the ranks, this wasn't even a fair matchup. Trying to understand the ranking is just way too difficult. One thing I would like to know is if the numbers next to your name even play a role in the match you find. I feel like there's just limited information, and they aren't really telling us anything. So one thing I actually failed to mention during the recording of this video, I didn't realize this, but so nobody's names are actually here on the current ladder, and everybody, as you can see over here on the right, is actually just listed as my name. The other thing with adding league play, the other thing with adding league play is like why didn't they remove skill-based matchmaking skill-based matchmaking i guess kind of makes sense before league play but after league play has been added it's like 
you've got skill-based matchmaking in league play, so why do you need that in pubs? I think that overall ruins the aspect of pubs and is why I haven't really been playing them. The only reason you would really need to play a pub if you're a league play player is for camos. Seeing that we're not even like a month into league play yet, I think Treyarch can definitely take some steps towards the future of this. I think Cold War is definitely one of the best Call of Duties we've had since Black Ops 2. I mean, Black Ops 3, you had like the whole EXO movement going on, and Black Ops 4 was definitely like an interesting take on that whole health system they had going on, but it just, I don't think it played out the way they wanted it to. No way I hit marker there. If I see improvements to League Play soon, I will be very happy. It's almost feeling like it's a whole Fortnite situation where Treyarch isn't really catering to what us as Call of Duty players are asking for. I will say one thing that they added, which I do enjoy, is the uh, way they're doing score streaks now. They aren't doing it like pubs where you can just get them by dying over and over again. You actually have to stay alive and go on kill streaks. And that's kind of more feels more like Call of Duty to me than whatever we had going on with the whole system before that. I don't know, I just feel like there's a little bit more work they could put into League Play. Something about it just doesn't sit right in my mouth. To be fair though, this Call of Duty was kind of pushed out a little early. Normally this year would have been for Sledgehammer, but for whatever reason they went straight from Infinity Ward back to Treyarch. I couldn't tell you why exactly, but maybe Sledgehammer, I mean Sledgehammer's games weren't really doing the best. The last one they had was World War II, not something that I would have considered my favorite Call of Duty. It wasn't horrible. I don't know, Call of Duty's in an interesting state right now for someone like me, where I kind of like, it fell off to me in the Fortnite stages. I kind of drifted off. Obviously, those who are pros like Scump continued playing. Scump's been a really big inspiration to me, and you know, watching him has obviously helped me out a lot. This is a really close game, and these are the type of league play games I like. Teams are pretty even. I mean, I don't know what my teammate's going. His score's a lot lower than everybody else's, but they have two like that. So I did, that's the issue at the end of the day with not being able to see what people are going. I mean, yeah, sure, I can try and spectate him, watch the kill feed, count how many kills and deaths he gets, but like, why would I do that? I'm just hit markering galore out here, dude. Holy. I don't want to discredit Treyarch in any way because they've made a great game here. And this is definitely my favorite Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. But I think they can do better. I know they can do better. This kid's playing without dead silence. Hello. And just like that, we got our win. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.